Okay, kids, so I finally figured it out. After you copy your set of data over, this is a sample ramp lab data. First thing you want to do is calculate the velocity. In cell E3 or E4, wherever you are, the first velocity that you're actually going to calculate, type equal 1 divided by and then just arrow to the left to get the time B for the time that, for the position that you're at. So I'm at position five. I'm going to arrow over to get the time B for position five, which was 0 .0082 for this set of data. And then hit enter and it'll calculate the velocity for you. As you, um, after that, go up so that you're on that cell and notice in the bottom right hand corner there's that square and you're going to do a drag and drop. So put your cursor right over the square, notice that it turns into a cross, click and pull it down all the way to the 80. And I know those numbers look really confusing but it's okay. Next thing we want to do, we actually do want to calculate the acceleration. To calculate the acceleration, you're going to type in that very first acceleration cell. Remember the top row is zero. So the first acceleration cell would be at position five. The acceleration equation, you're going to type equal. Then you're going to arrow once to the left. That'll get the velocity that you just got. Divided by an arrow twice, three times to the left to get time A, B for that same position. Notice how they're both highlighted. Then you hit enter and that will give you the acceleration. Again, it's okay that these numbers are a little off. Again, we're going to do a drag and drop and we're going to do that straight down. So turn the cursor into a cross and drag straight down to the bottom. And there are your accelerations. Last thing we want to do is insert a chart. The chart is just going to be time AB and position. So we're going to highlight all of time AB and the position so that we can have real a, a nice pretty curve to show the acceleration. You're going to go to insert all the way down here to chart. Hit the more button. Scatter and pick the top chart. Nice pretty curve. Then you want to hit insert. Now I'd like you to move that over so that you don't really see it on top of all of your data but if we scrolled over we would be able to see it nice and clear. Okay so that's what I want you to do on the ramp lab.